WTFNN. Headline news update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman. Target technicians are down up 30 at 25,732. Did have a little dip early this morning, holding pretty well. The technicals are just okay. Uh, this is going to be very important because by Tuesday of this coming week, in other words, we've got Friday, today to finish, then Friday, Monday, then Tuesday. If by Tuesday we are testing this resistance line, downtrend resistance line in the Dow of 25,930s, breaking above it, they'd be very positive. If instead we are starting to test the 25,650 area, chances are we're taking a little bit of a breather here to fill some of this big candle from uh, five there, four days ago, with the low was 25,208, the high was 25,661. Uh, that was a big move in one breath. So we'll see what happens here. But this is so far quite good action. The S&P is also up. The S&P is up now 2.84. Not a big deal. Hasn't gone above yesterday's high. I'm calling yesterday's high just for now a leg E to the upside rather than a new A. But we'll after to see how this plays out because the technicals are improving, but they're not great. The key support will be 27.93, and a break above 26.23 would be really positive, 10 points above here. The QQQ, and this is the very interesting one because the Q started to break to a new recovery high, still leg B in the weekly chart, very strong, and isn't letting go. Even Apple's acting very well today. So at 177.23, up 22 cents. This is good action. <clears throat> what I've said to subscribers is you need to get into the 179 uh, 30 area and that will really be for me be a breakout and that'll say hey perhaps now we've started a much bigger move to the upside in the day off just a very brief pullback let's go to the IWM IWM right now down 21 cents it's it's lagging so yesterday I was talking about the four different in the five if I include the New York Stock Exchange we're having slightly different timetables here that's the reason why I'm a little bit cautious right at this very moment, still have long positions. And what I'm really looking at here is what happens going to Friday's close for the weekly charts and then what happens first thing Monday. Gold is pulling back sharply. It's down 14 points at 12.94 and the dollar is actually rallying. This is very interesting because the dollar needed to rally here, but this is not good enough. Dollar needs to get to 97.20. I'll be back. Talk about it much more in my Tiger Technician show coming right up after this break. Otherwise, see you tomorrow. Have a great day.